While she's settled in her dreamy Los Angeles estate these days, it took her a while to move in, and she purchased it back in 2017. Being the daughter of two icons, you may have guessed, Dakota's home is fit for Hollywood's royalty. While the home is impressive, it's still serene and modest in many ways. So Dakota Johnson is an actress and model who made her film debut at the age of 10 with a minor appearance in Crazy Alabama. Beyond Dakota's own career, she's also the daughter of actors Don Johnson and Melania Griffith, and her grandmother is none other than Tippi Hendren, whose film career includes classics like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds and Marnie. Dakota was discouraged from pursuing acting further until after high school, and she began auditioning for roles in LA. She was cast in minor roles in The Social Network and then supporting roles in movies like 21 Jump Street and A Five-Year Engagement. In 2015, Dakota got her first starring role as Anastasia in the Fifty Shades film series from 2015 to 2018, which you could say was her big break. From there, she scored more acting roles over the years, and even one of her personal favorite films, Bad Times at El Royale, in which Dakota appeared with an ensemble cast. At the time of this recording, Dakota's net worth is estimated at $40 million, and she put a chunk of that towards her gorgeous home. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Dakota's home features wall-sized windows in the living room, perfect for highlighting the crystals in the space, and books line the walls of her home office. From the rooms inside to the citrus trees out back, the Hollywood star's home is a reflection of the things that she loves. While growing up, Dakota was constantly on the road with her famous parents, which taught her a different kind of appreciation for home life. The actress remembers a time when she was delivering an Easter basket to Madonna in 1996, as her then stepfather Antonio Banderas was filming the Vida with her in Budapest. While memories like this are amazing, there is still a part of Dakota that was longing for more grounded life than she had previously. That could explain why she turned her current and what seems to be her only property into a sanctuary. The actress quietly bought the property in 2016 for $3.55 million in an off-market deal, and records show it was acquired by a blind trust linked to a celebrity client. Dakota was so secretive about the purchase that even celeb stalkers and news outlets had a hard time identifying her as the buyer for the Sunset Strip home. News only broke out about a year after the purchase, and I think that's about when Dakota finally moved in as well. Her wood-framed home was built in 1947 by Roberta mid-century architect Carl Meston, and was previously owned by Glee and American Crime Story creator Ryan Murphy. It's located in Los Angeles, clearly in the West Hollywood neighborhood, and more specifically, above the famed Chateau Marmont. Dakota's famous neighbors are in the likes of Jendall Kenner, Sandra Bullock, and just two doors down is Jimmy Kimmel. Sitting on the acre lot, naturally the property is completely walled, gated, and secured with cameras. Listing materials described it as one of the true masterpieces of the modernist movement, meticulously restored with modern systems. Her home boasts three bedrooms and three baths, with 3,210 square feet of living space. And Dakota admits it was only the second home she looked at and the first house she's ever bought. She explained, I was immediately drawn to how clean it was, but also cozy. I thought I'll never want to sell this place. And that seems like the case so far. Among the common places, there's a living room with a floor to ceiling glass walls and stone fireplace. The Dakotas have decorated with a beautiful vintage furniture and a piano. And this is the living room. I hang out here. People kind of are always coming in and out of my house. And everyone hangs out in this room, she says. Obviously, one thing that stands out about her place is that it actually looks like somebody lives in it. Many celebrity homes often seem so spotless and minimalistic that it feels like no one ever lives there. And it feels more like a showroom. While Dakota's house is the opposite, she even has a dog, so it makes the place feel like a real home. Dakota's formal dining room is custom decorated with a glass table, as well as some uplifting crystals on display. I'm jealous of those. The restored vintage home also has an Eden Chef's kitchen, with top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances and marble countertops. But it may not be as big as you'd expect. Dakota painted the kitchen green, as well as which she says is her favorite color. 
although Dakota didn't invite anyone upstairs, the second level is completely private for her spacious master suite. She has shared what went into the renovations up there for us. According to Dakota, there are wooden walls, a sitting area, a spa-like bath, and views of the city lights. When designing her residence, they installed wood flooring in the master suite, which includes the bedroom, the wardrobe, and for the bathroom. It has the same concrete as downstairs. While Dakota's entire home is delightful, the one room she feels the most at home is in her office, which she has lined with books and memorabilia close to her heart. I actually don't really get any work done because I get distracted by everything that's in here, she says. Some of the most notable pieces here are a seating card Patty Smith gave her with her phone number on it, and a note from her famous grandmother, and a photo of her appearance on the SNL's 40th anniversary show in 2015. A special spot on the wall is reserved for a photo of Hunter S. Thompson, a close friend of Dakota. His dad, Don Johnson Thompson, wrote famous books like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and The Rum Diary. He shared a bond with Dakota acting like a godfather figure. One thing's for sure, Dakota is an old soul. For her antique pieces and unique design in the home, she showcases her personal style. And since the house is covered in wood, it makes for a warm and intimate space. Moving outside, just beyond the glass sliding doors in the living room, you'll find a swimming pool. Her backyard is surrounded by nature and greenery, providing a ton of privacy. And the lower level of the property has a dog run. There's an entertainment space with a barbecue fire pit and patio. And Dakota also shows off a table which was made from the wood of Winston Churchill's yacht. Definitely a piece of history. And in the upper level of the yard, there's also a hot tub. She did a great job putting thought into every room while designing, from the messy bookshelves in her office to the restored vintage furniture she's thinking about for her treehouse. With my job and the velocity at which my schedule can change, it's important to me to have a place to go and it is mine, she says. Psychologically, I'm moored somewhere else. This place is my anchor. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.